Hi guys, welcome to another video and happy 2023. I cannot believe it is already 2023. I cannot believe it's been so long since I've actually recorded a video. Uh, I think the last one was at the beginning of December because I was sharing with you guys my, or at the end of November because I was sharing with you guys my NaNoWriMo experience. But as you can tell from the title, what I really wanted to share with you guys today is my author 2023 goals. I just wanted to share them with you guys for one, to stay accountable so that I have something to look back on at throughout the entire year to say these were my goals, to see how close I actually get to them. Maybe to give you some inspiration and maybe just something to look forward to in your own career if you're just starting out or if you're a little stuck in the middle. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I've been using a bullet journal for about five, six years now, and I absolutely love it. I've tried other journals, I've tried other methods, and for me, being able to create my own uh, spread, if you will, works out the best for me. So I usually, what I do with my journal is I create a bunch of different um, spreads, obviously like everyone else, and I mainly focus on the goals that I set on here. As you can see, these are my annual goals and they go from physical to spiritual, personal growth, marriage goals, writing career, fi finance, uh, social media goals, relationships, charity, and adventure. These are all the goals that I write down things for, but for today's video, we're going to focus just on my author goals. I made a separate note on what I wanted to share with you guys, so I'm gonna hold it here and look down as we speak. For starters, let's start with my social media goals. So what I really want to do is I want to record one video a week. Start off with one video. If I can manage two, I will do two. But there's a lot of changes going on that I haven't shared with you guys that I probably will in the coming weeks. There's a lot going on this year that I am preparing for and planning for and doing that is completely different than the past four years. So I will share everything with you guys coming soon, but I just want to line everything up you know just right so for now let's just say that i want to record one video a week i want to do three to four reels a week and i want to record one to two tiktoks a day i just jumped on tiktok at on november 16th was my first like real author tiktok so if you guys aren't following me there and you didn't know anything about TikTok or you liked, you didn't know I was on TikTok and you like TikTok, I'll leave my handle in the description box below for you guys to follow me there. I would really appreciate it if you're not following me on Instagram. Also, follow me on there. I'm going to try to be on there a little more consistently. I used to be really consistent with Instagram. I was on there all the time in stories, posting two to three reels a day. And then I kind of got burnt out with it because I feel like Instagram got to a point where it was, I'm basically stuck. I've been at 52 to 5,300 followers for like at least two years and it doesn't grow. And, not, and then I went from reaching like 50,000 accounts in one month to... 4,000 accounts in one month. It's like they weren't showing my stuff to anyone and I'll get into that part of it like what that really means for me in, in a minute because I did write it down what it means for what that means as far as social media and my goals but that was really frustrating so I kind of went like you know what I've seen a lot of people have success a lot of authors are talking about the success they are having on TikTok so that is where I've been focusing my attention on recently is TikTok. And, you know, I'm getting about the same amount of views that I get from Instagram, probably a little more, actually, like a lot more. And I'm just starting out. So I feel like I have dedicated so much time to Instagram and they're doing me dirty. They're doing me dirty. So 
I'm a little more on TikTok right now, but as far as stories, I'm on Instagram. So if you like TikTok or Instagram and you're not following me on either or both, then I invite you to go check me out over there. So those are the things I want to do with my social media. But what I really, really want to do is batch my content. I think I did that once like for a small period of my life I was batching a lot of content and I had mixed feelings about it because I like to be very much in the moment but it was such a nice relief to know that I didn't have to worry about the upcoming week because everything was pre-recorded and everything was done so I really want to get back to that system I have to get back to that system if I want to reach this particular goal about posting once a week on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, if I really want to reach those goals, I'm going to have to batch content. That means I have to take one day and record everything. And if I if I if I'm not doing vlogs, I can pretty much do that with YouTube. I can just take one day and record the four videos, four or five videos, depending on the month, in one day. But I just have to really do that. So Another goal I have is to collab with other writers. I, when I first started on YouTube, I was doing a lot of collaborations and I know that that's not something that is really big on YouTube right now. A lot of people aren't really collaborating that much, at least not that I see, but I want to collab with more writers, even if it's not on YouTube, maybe on Instagram or TikTok, or maybe in my emails, maybe share, um, other writers uh, books on my in on my email list so just do more collaborations and I have to figure out what that looks like for me I also want to work with more brands um, that I work with one particular uh, company right now uh, I'm an affiliate for them I recorded a video and it's really doing well for me as far as like the income that is coming in from that part of the business so i really want to focus on that more because um we're all in here trying to get passive income right that's part of what we do on youtube and why we're on instagram and why we do some of the things that we do is to also add some passive income to our our finances so that's part of the reason I really want to start seeing if I can get into more um, working with more brands and just being part of an affiliate program uh, okay so now let's get into writing my writing goal for the year is to finish my Christmas novel and I will be sharing so many details with you guys really soon on that. I will be sharing the name, I will be sharing so much about it that I'm not ready to share yet. But anyways, as far as writing, I want to finish that novel and I do want to start a new novel. I don't like to be in periods where I'm not writing. So as soon as I'm done editing this one and it's off to the editor, I will be starting a new novel. As far as publishing is concerned, I'm gonna share a little more in a minute, but as far as publishing is concerned, I plan on self-publishing, you know, depending upon the next thing I'm going to share with you but I'll get to that in a second so there's not much to say as far as publishing because I will never inevitably self-publish if the other thing doesn't work out but I wanted to touch on marketing for a second before I get into the next step um, marketing I want to really really learn more about it but not just learn because I feel like I'm at a place where I'm constantly learning about marketing but don't but I don't really put it in action so this is the year where I really want to put everything I've learned all the information I have in my head all the information I have written down really put it into action so that is what I plan to do with my Christmas novel and obviously every novel going forward but it's like I think if you guys have been around here long enough you know that what ends up happening is I end up putting so much work into writing the novel novel and all the things that come right after noveling, like the, after noveling, all the things that come right after writing the novel, like um, the formatting and, and just doing all the things that by the time the release comes, 
I don't even promote it. I don't even do it right, but I don't I don't want to do that this year. I really want to give this novel like the, the care and promotion it deserves because I am super it's not even edited yet. It's not even finished yet. And by far it's my favorite novel that I've written. I'm so proud of it. I I just cannot wait for you guys to read it. I'm really excited. So that is a goal of mine that I'm not even going to wait till the book is finished. I am going to start, like I'm making a list of all the things that need to be done that I've learned about marketing ahead of time, like getting the street team together, reaching out to uh, vloggers and bloggers ahead of time. Like oh, these are all the things that I've said in the past that I know that need, what need to be done and I just don't do it. But this is the year when I will do it. Okay, so now let's talk about the things that are part of my writing career uh, goals, my author goals that are out of my control. So I love self-publishing. I really enjoy having a lot of the control that I have with self-publishing. But there is something, I think most of us, if we're not, if, if we're all true and honest with ourselves, we, I think we all want to be traditionally published. We want to have at least once to see that experience, to get an agent that stands behind you, to have a publishing company that falls in love with your book, and maybe the possibilities that come with it. I'm not going to stress about it, but I am going to try to query this novel and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, I'm not really like like in the past when I've queried, I've been really like anxious and nervous about it and like put all my eggs in that basket and it's like, I have to, I need to, I need to and I get so nervous and at this time I think I'm approaching it from an exciting place. So I'm excited about the possibility of getting an agent and getting traditionally published and that's a goal of mine but it is a goal that is out of my control so it's not really something that I can... The only thing I can do is I can write the book and submit the book. As outside of that, I can't do anything else to get an agent. You know what I mean? I can write the best book I can and have it the best I can have it and then I can submit it. But it's outside of that, it's not, a, uh, it's not in my control, which is why that particular goal is under things out of my control, but still under my author goal. The next thing I would like that is out of my control is I would love to sell more books this year again it's out of my control I can do ads I can promote it I can show up I can do all the things but it's not in my control so I, I it's a goal of mine to sell more books and I hope I do and the last thing that I want to reach this year a goal of mine this year that again it's out of my control however it goes back to what we talked about at the beginning of the of the video where I was telling you something of that I really wanted to do with my social media is I want to gain more true readers and fans. So in the past I've said I want to reach, you know, 5,000 followers on, on YouTube or 10,000 followers on Instagram or subscribers on YouTube and followers on TikTok, on Instagram. When it was just a number versus actually focusing on what does that really mean. So it doesn't really matter to me if I only gain a hundred people, but they are hardcore fans, hardcore readers, hardcore people that are interested in, in, in me as far as like what I'm sharing here on YouTube or my platform. So it's less about the number and more about the connection the true connection between me and the person that's following me i really want to gain like true fans true readers true friendships maybe we can build a friendship you know on here that um i know that a lot of other writers have built friendships through youtube the author tube community so i think that's lovely so maybe that is something that will happen for me this year and lastly what I have is I have at least one more product coming out this year, maybe more, but for sure one because I've already finished it. It's complete. I just have to put it in motion and I'm really excited to share that part with you guys. So 
yeah that is what i have for my author goals i hope that you found some inspiration in it and remember if you have not subscribed yet i would love to have you here and maybe we can build an even bigger community of writers and authors and traditionally published and self-published authors here as well as on my tiktok and instagram and with that said, I'm going to go and I will see you guys again in a brand new video next week because it's one video a week going forward. And that's it. Until then, God bless you.